Thank you, Acting Speaker, and it's a joy to uh, rise to speak before you, and I appreciate all your efforts in the chair. Uh, and of course, I'm speaking on the suggested amendments proposed in the other place to the Public Health and Wellbeing Amendment Pandemic Management Bill 2021. Since the bill's introduction, uh, the government has carefully considered feedback uh, from the community, and there were a number of proposed targeted House amendments to this bill. Uh, what has happened over the last two weeks is just the argy-bargy of Parliament. It was something I thought that's what Parliament did when, uh, when I was not a member of Parliament. That there's plenty of argy-bargy in this place. The essence of the bill seeks to allow the government to manage pandemics effectively and begin the road to recovery for Victoria sooner. And this is about keeping Victorians safe. And of course, the following amendments are proposed taking account of the key drivers of the public health considerations, the timeliness and the independence. And firstly, we see detention review officers will be rena uh, renamed detention appeals officers and be appointed by the governor and council rather than the secretary. They will no longer be employed under the Public Administration Act 2004. Secondly, to further underscore their independence, it's proposed that the bill expressly provide that detention appeals officers are not subject to direction or control of the Secretary or the Minister in respect of any decisions made. And of course, uh, instead of the Chief Health Officer, the Detention Appeals Officers will be empowered to vary, cease or affirm a person's detention. And that is, um, they will be the final decision maker. They'll be required to make a determination and using best endeavours provide written reasons within 72 hours of an application being received. And their review of an application will be de novo, encompassing any matter considered relevant. And of course, to ensure that public health expertise remains central to decision making, detention appeals officers will be required to consult with the chief health officer before deciding to cease or vary a person's detention. So importantly, these proposed amendments strike the right balance between providing an independent review of a person's detention and ensuring that the process remains timely and informed. Acting Speaker, as we get on and deliver for and protect Victorians, these amendments allow us to continue to do just that. And look, first, I want to thank all Victorians for their amazing efforts to fight off this pandemic and for them getting vaccinated at such high rates. I also want to thank our colleagues in the other place who have just sat through 25 hours, 25 gruelling hours, to debate and, uh, I suppose, negotiate these new amendments, to ensure that these amendments were finalised and to make sure that Victorians can be kept safe. Um, I think it was a, a, a fantastic effort and I hope the Royal Home resting up right now. Uh, Acting Speaker, I do commend the amendments to this House uh, and... Um, I've just been asked to keep it short, so I'll finish there. So I do commend these amendments to the House. Thank you.